Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the double displacement reaction of lead nitrate and sodium sulfide. Check this out. All I'm using for this reaction is lead nitrate, sodium sulfide, 50 mils of distilled water, a dropper, a spoon, and a petri dish. I'm going to begin by adding about 5 grams of lead nitrate to my distilled water. Now that my lead nitrate solution is ready and is completely dissolved, I'm going to add a little bit to this petri dish so I can compare the reaction in the graduated cylinder and in the petri dish. So in this reaction, my reactants are my lead nitrate and my sodium sulfide. Remember in double displacement reactions, metals trade places with metals, non-metals with non-metals. So my lead is gonna switch places with my sodium to create the product sodium nitrate and lead sulfide. Lead sulfide is the precipitant. It's gonna be this very dark precipitant that's formed immediately when I combine the two solutions. Take just so a I'm drop ready. of this. I'm gonna come over here and just put a drop on my lead nitrate. Watch what happens immediately. Look at that dark black precipitant the minute I combine the two. There's a clear drop. Okay, now we're gonna try the same sodium sulfide in our lead nitrate solution in our graduated cylinder. So here it is, you can see it immediately forming the precipitant of lead sulfide. Just amazing, look at that. So let's talk a little bit about the products in this experiment. First is sodium nitrate. It's actually used as a food preservative for bacon. So the next time you enjoy that in your breakfast, remember this experiment. Now the other product, the precipitant, was lead sulfide. And this is actually used in ceramic glazes and infrared radiation detectors. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time.